Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and first look of these custom Venom Hammer Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. What's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm excited to bring you guys an unboxing and first look of these custom Venom Hammer uh, boxing gloves that I actually won on an Instagram giveaway on Venom's Instagram page. Uh, they did a giveaway about two months ago. Uh, I want to say it was in March that they did the giveaway. Um, and just like a lot of other giveaways, I, I entered by tagging a couple friends. I think I reposted it on my, my Instagram page. And then from there, I just crossed my fingers and, and hoped that I would win. And by you know, coincidence, I actually won the giveaway, which is kind of surprising because I literally never win anything. Anytime that I've entered in a contest, a giveaway, anything, you know, lottery tickets, well, obviously that's really hard to win, but I, I've literally never won anything. So I was just super shocked that I won this and was really surprised. So um, after I won, I contacted, uh, I got in contact with Venom. Um, they just told me to design the gloves that I want and send them the design. So I went on their website, I used their My Custom, um, page where you could pick the colors. I ended up going with 16 ounce uh, hammers. Hammers are my favorite out of their pro boxing glove line because of the EVA padding, the protection, and the feedback. Um, they're my favorite Venom gloves, and, and generally speaking, they're actually some of my favorite boxing gloves, period. Um, when I did a top 10 boxing glove um, list, I actually included the Venoms on that. So I went with a 16 ounce Velcro, just so it was, just so it was easy for me to, to use them on my own. Um, and I did a, a kind of a blue and silver color scheme, something a little bit different than I typically do. So let's go ahead and open these up and take see how they look. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this open. I just got these in yesterday um, from Venom. So it took about, uh, I would say almost two months for me to receive these gloves. And obviously with the whole coronavirus thing that's happening in the world, I'm sure there was a lot of delays and whatnot. So. Um, you know, my expectations as far as timing wise was really too crazy just because I know there's a lot that's going on in the world right now. So let's go ahead and slice that open. It comes with uh, just standard packing paper and then it has uh, this nice plastic. I'm going to throw that to the side so it's wrapped in this plastic. And then it has this camera tape. And that plastic just has the Venom logo on it. And then it has this really nice carrying case. This bag is actually like super high quality. It's probably, probably the best sack that I've ever seen. Like as far as a, a one that's included with boxing gloves, it has a really nice thick feel to it. Even the draw cords are super thick. They're almost like, these are bigger than like shoelaces. They're a really thick lace. Almost reminds me of a bungee cord. Uh, but you can see on the front right here, it says custom by Venom. So obviously if you get some custom gloves, I'm sure they'll include this bag with it, but it's a really nice bag. I wouldn't mind taking this with me to the gym and just using it to hold stuff. Then on the back side, it just says Venom Custom, create unique boxing gloves with their website info right there. So that's the info of the gloves and then the gloves on the inside. You can see just opening the bag and here are the gloves. There's the left glove. So you can see I went with a, the blue, silver, and black. I wanted to go with the metallic just because I like seeing what other brands have in terms of the metallic. 16 ounce Velcro. So that's the left glove, and here is the right glove. That's identical, and here they are. So 16 ounces. I went with that size just so I can use this, obviously, for everything in the gym, just all around training, you know, whether it's Hitting the bag, the mitts, sparring with them, whatever, I could use them uh, being a 16 ounce glove. But you can see they look great. And the metallic on here uh, has a nice shine to it, look, really nice color blue. I would, this is more of like a, a royal blue, kind of reminds me of uh, if you're an LA Dodgers fan, kind of that Dodgers blue. Then I went with the split palm. The nice thing about the customization on their website is you can really choose any kind of color in design you want um, on different sections of the glove. So, I mean, you can choose the thumb color, the logo color, you, you can choose the logo, the color of this logo, the handmade in Thailand logo, you can choose that as well. So, they give you a, a lot of um, the ability to really pick and choose what you want. Double stitching, 
Um, full leather construction they use at Argentinian and Napa Leather, which is what they advertise. Um, a leather attached thumb right there. You can, I believe you can also pick the, the attachment color of the attached thumb there too. As well as the venom right here on the fingertip. And then on the back, uh, one thing is the actual uh, striking surface color and the Venom logo that's written vertically is the same color. So you can't choose a separate color for that as well as the striking surface. That actually only comes in one color. So if you choose the striking surface that's going to be black, then obviously the Venom logo is going to be black as well. Then you have a three and a half inch Velcro strap. Again, you can choose the color of the Velcro right here and the label. So I want the black with the silver uh, Venom writing right there. And then um, the back of the glove has about a half inch of padding and about a quarter inch of padding on the inside right there. And go ahead and slide these on. And this would be my third pair of the hammers specifically. And they feel identical, a little bit roomier than the other ones because the other ones I had, the WBC ones were 12 ounces. These are 16, so obviously they're larger gloves. But again, like the other hammers I had, has a kind of a, a, a mild broken in feel to it. You can make an, ex, an excellent fist with these. Um, the cuff drops down pretty low on the 16 ounce uh, version. So it's a little bit of a longer glove compared to the others, but super comfortable, excellent thumb positioning. Um, and my favorite feature about this glove is how they perform when you're hitting the bag with these and you're just using them in training. Out of a lot of the gloves I've tried, um, these have some of the best feedback and protection ratio like a lot of times you'll get gloves that are super soft um, you know the, the foam that they use is a little bit softer so when you punch the bag you don't get the the same level of, of, of shock absorption but you get a great sense of feedback and feeling like your knuckles are landing I feel like these you get that with these you get kind of a little bit best of both worlds the EVA layer that they use that's laminated on the very top is a little bit harder you can actually you can actually hear that when you hit it, how stiff that outside layer is, but on the inside of the glove, it's softer. So I believe they use different multi-layer foams like a rubber sheet, EVA foam, and some you know closed cell foams on the inside that makes the glove a little bit softer. So you get a really unique feel when you hit the bag with these, and that's what I really like about the hammers in, in particular. Um, but overall, the glove looks really nice. Leather looks really clean, the stitching looks great. Um, these are made in Thailand, so the great thing about these gloves is uh, I, I've yet to see a Thai-made glove that really wasn't great quality. Like the vast majority, if not all the Thai gloves I've tried, I've always had a really high attention to detail. Um, I didn't feel like the gloves were rushed through being made. It has, has more of a kind of a handmade attention to detail feel to the gloves rather than a mass-produced glove that you see like with some Everlast, um, some of the lower-end budget gear. So. You're definitely getting a really nicely constructed glove that has really good workmanship built into it. Nice quality materials. Um, again, I mean, obviously the Venom, that's, I, I'm not a big fan of the way Venom, you know, decorates their gloves. I'm more, I like more of a subdued look as far as the logos go. So I'm still campaigning, hoping that they uh, maybe change the look of their gloves for their pro boxing glove line, to give it a little bit more of a classical boxing look, but you know, that's up to them. So. But overall, these gloves look fantastic. 16 ounce of Venom Hammers. Uh, can't wait to put these to use. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Venom Hammers. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.